Okay, so let's get this over with. All right. <laughs> okay. You gotta pay me for my time. My, my, uh... How much am I getting? How much would you like, Cousin Nathan? He's smiling. I know that. <laughs> I'll take the same amount of you to get. You get, okay. Rhyme, <laughs> that rhymes with free. Rhymes with free. <laughs> See, I told you, you're in trouble. You might want to negotiate for yourself because this one, you know. <laughs> yes, we don't have to. Right, we're still trying to work that one out. So I'm doing a little project called Finding Fips on St. Kitts. And I'm going to start here with these two gentlemen. I'm going to start with Cousin Nathan. Beauty before age, isn't that what you said? Beauty before age? Uh, that's right. That would be you first then. Okay, please state your entire name. My name is Nathan Benjamin Phipps. And you are the child of? I'm the child of Thomas Phipps and Maud Frederick Phipps. So tell me a couple of things that you know about her experience here. One that was a uh, great man grandmother was a uh, uh, what is it, East Indian. My father's name is Thomas, I don't know his middle name, Phipps. My father and his brother, God bless them, <laughs> stole, on a, got, stole away on a coal boat and that's how they got to the United States. My name is Nathaniel Joseph Phipps. Okay, and you are the child of? My father's name was John James Phipps. My mother's name was Frances O'Loughlin Phipps. Okay, and where were your parents born? St. Kitts and Sadler's Village. Okay, so both of your parents were from Sadler's Village as well. Exactly. Your fathers were brothers. Exactly. Okay, and so now, Cousin Nathan, continue. You said that the two of your fathers, your fathers came over in a coal boat. In a coal boat. Un illegally. Illegal. Un illegally. <laughs> so they were illegal immigrants, as we call them today. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and they stayed in this, they pretty much settled in Newark, New Jersey. So Both parents? We, yes. They came to, well, I remember they, they came to New York first. Through Ellis Island. And no, 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 no. It was stowaway, so. They, oh, that's right. So wherever the coal wherever boat dropped them off the is where boat, that's where they got off. Okay, that's right. right. That's right. Thank they you. They did in New York they for, for uh, got themselves together yeah. and then moved to Jersey. Yeah. Okay. That would be usually what happens. Okay. With people that came from the islands, they because of uh, going to the island first for registration and they're coming legally, and then they go to wherever. And New York is where they would be first. Probably. Were, uh, any friends that they had would be probably in there. New York. Yeah. So they would stay with them until they got themselves a couple dollars and then struck out on their own. Wonderful. And Newark being uh, the largest city in New Jersey, and there was already an established West Indian population, they would probably migrate there. Okay. Because their employment and residential arrangements would be made probably easier since there was already West Indians there. What do you remember about your fathers? I'll start with Cousin Nathan. You said, well, actually, I'll start with my father because you said you really, he didn't talk very much. He was fairly my father, quiet. My father, he was my father. Okay. And I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay. Most of my upbringing my, my, was my mother. Okay. My, mother. my father worked supplied what he could. Okay. And that was it. Yeah. What do you know about your father? To, uh, everything you know. Just yeah. what kind of person was he? Yeah, well, my father was rather relatively quiet, uh, hard worker, but limited in what he could do as far as labor was concerned, because he was asthmatic. And I can remember how we, certainly, certainly how I uh, was very concerned every winter because during the winter he would have many asthmatic attacks and many times he would come home and we'd have to go, I don't know how we'd know, but one of my, because since I'm the youngest and Billy and I were the, the youngest, one of my older sisters or my brother would have to go down and sometimes help him up to come up. We lived on the second floor and he couldn't get from the street to the second floor 
because he was having what we call shortness of breath. Right. And he'd be down there and they'd know what time he's supposed to get off the bus because we could look and see the bus across the street. And if he didn't come upstairs within five or six minutes, then we know he's downstairs and have him trying to catch his breath. And then we bring him up. So anyway, because of that, he, his working ability was limited, but he did work all the time. And uh, at high roller bearing, uh, he was a, uh, a sweeper. What he did was basically sweep floors, probably, and clean the trees and that kind of stuff. And now what kind of factory was it? Hyatt Roller Bearing is one of the General Motors. They made roller bearings for parts of the cars, the General Motors cars. Uh -huh. Bu Buicks, Cadillacs, Chevys, and that stuff. And he was a sweeper? Yeah. You don't know how he and your mom met? No. Okay. But that, that uh, he was my mother's second husband. My mother's first husband was a Keynes. Okay. And uh, he had a uh, nervous breakdown and ended up in a mental institution and uh, Overbrook to be exact. And then eventually my mother and my father got married and produced the Phipps branch of our family. Okay. At first my, bro my brothers and sisters were Keynes. James, Willie, and Margaret. And Margaret had a twin sister that died early on in uh, childhood. Uh, and they were all Canes. And then my sister Pearlene, who died as a teenager, and my sister Eileen, and then Herbie, and us. Billy you and know, the thing that enlightens me, what you're saying now, mm -hmm. about the Canes in the fifth. Oh. I never realized. I never do that. Yeah. Oh. I never do that. Yeah. I never do that. Interesting. And I always wondered where the canes came in. At. Yeah. I always yeah. did. Yeah. No, I but know. you were how old when your father died? Seventeen. Seventeen when your father died. Yeah. Okay. So he died fairly young. He died at fifty-four. Okay, so he died young for yes. sure. He was young when he, he died. He had a heart attack on the way to work. Then when your father died. That must have been very difficult because then it was just kids and your mom trying right. to raise everyone and trying well, fortunately, to... Unfortunately, we were the youngest, so everyone else, uh, all, they were all adults, young adults. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we were still in high school. But um, the, the, the if there is such a thing as a bright side in the death, by him dying, his insurance enabled us to buy our first home. Wow. And that's when we bought 172 Bank Street. Uh, once, yeah, once in two back street, yeah, and that's when we began to live much more comfortably because prior to that we lived in a cold water flat. In the winter you had to heat by coal and wood and whatever else you could burn. Rough, rough time. Right. What did you hear about St. Kitts from your father? Very little, because he was relatively quiet. Plus, not being well, a lot of times. When he came home, the first thing he did was go in the room and go to sleep, right. or lay in the bed. And I also remember, in the, again, in the winter time, every night one of us would have to go in and rub him down in either Vicks vapor rub or mustard oil, which helped him breathe through the night. Put flannel, uh, you know, put something on the chest, and sure enough, by clockwork in the morning, he'd be up and out and going to work. But when he came back, he had to do, go through the same thing. If he could come upstairs, he came up, and he'd go in the room, you'd hear him coughing, et cetera, he said maybe he can come, go back in the room. Or sometimes he'd stay out and we'd listen to the radio together, certain programs, you know. Right. Which was the r ritual that we went through. Right. Yeah, because you no television or anything like that. Okay, and now how about your mom, since she was, must have been the one that talked mainly about St. Kitts. Oh, yeah. Well, they would talk to each other about it. we I hear it from them talking to each other about it, but it's not like I can sit down and say, hey, Dad, tell me about, right. you know, we didn't call him Dad, we call him Papa. What, what, would we, uh, what went on in St. Kitts? We didn't, I didn't even know to ask questions about it. I heard St. Kitts, you know, just like the, the people that came, our relatives, they all had an accent. Never thought anything about it until I got in high school and had friends begin to come to the house and they'd be looking at me and look and they'd say what language what are they saying you know that never dawned on me I had a, I had any trouble with it but they were the first to 
remind us that our families had access. Right. We could hear it, but you never, you know, you just took that for granted. You never gave it any thought. That's interesting because I remember how I used to think when Uncle Willie came to the house, mm -hmm. I was always so proud that he had an accent because I felt exotic. I felt yeah. like, yeah. oh, here's my Uncle Willie, and then he'd yeah. say something, and I'd be so excited because he had an accent. Yeah. So that's funny that, yeah. you know, we, the different ways that you didn't think anything of it, whereas I knew it was different and relished in it. Yeah. We as children, though, you didn't talk around with those. That's right. Uh -huh. but you were, when those came in the house, you were children, you said, oh, you didn't have nothing to say. You were seen, Great but point. not heard. That's right. That, that, that wasn't abuse or nothing. No, no. I know what you're that saying. That was traditional. But children had their place. Yes. Wonderful. And their yep. place was to be listen. quiet. <laughs> Let adults take care of that Stay thing. out of the way. Right. That's a great point because that would explain a lot of why you don't know a lot about St. Kitts because they wouldn't have talked to you the way parents now do talk to their children That's about right. that kind of thing. That's an excellent point. That is a, a, an excellent point. And then like you said, uh, I was saying, I don't know, but a lot of times I got this from my mother behind her complaining <laughs> how bad things were in St. Kitts. Okay. Boy, when she talked about wearing crooker sack as clothing. And now crooker sack, what did that hold? Was I mean what what did, originally came in it? That was potatoes. potatoes so like a potato was, sack. The, the, the bags that right. the, so, the different products came in. Okay. That's what they dressed in. So it was like a burlap Burl, sack. Burl yeah. Like, that's exactly oh what it was. wow. So Burl. that's what they made their clothes out of. They that's put what they that made their clothes out of. Interesting. So it's not like the Marriott that we just toured. This is not the St. Kitts that they knew. Oh, Lord. <laughs> was... But, you know, remember, that's not unique just to here. No. Burlap was something that poor people all over the world used. Oh, yeah. okay. That was, that was what that was accessible to them, and that's what they made their clothes out of. What is your memory of my father's father? Do you have any memories of him? As a child... Yes, I've seen him and knew him. That's it. That's it, okay. That was Pop's brother. Okay, so that was just Pop's brother. Pop's brother. And Dad, do you have any memory of, I guess, of Uncle Tom? Uncle Tom. It, oh, sure. I, I remember we'd, we'd go over to visit and play with these guys and stuff, especially play more with Ruben and Nathan but, uh, and Gloria because they were closer to my age, but uh, I, of course I would see my uncle there and see my aunt, but uh, he, like he said, he was quiet, so you know. Right, and how about the story of when your father died? Oh yeah, <laughs> well that was actual, I mean, that actually happened. Uh, my father died suddenly on the way to work, and that night, I believe, after the word got out, uh, Uncle Tom came to the house, I guess, to, to, you know, share sadness and so forth. Anyway, he, he the door, uh, the knock on the door, and I mean, maybe Billy was the one that opened the door, but we were all in, you know, you're only living in four rooms. Right. So most people are gonna be either in the kitchen or the, what we call the front room area. So we're there, and open, the door opens, and there's Uncle Tom, <laughs> who looks a lot like my father, scared the bejesus out of us. <laughs> scared the dickens out of us. And you know, the funny thing about that is because you already knew him, it's surprising that you would have had that response at that time because it's not like he, that was the first time you ever saw him and no, he looked like But you gotta remember, we were kids that came from a background and you heard oh, Nathan talk yes. about it. Jumbies and voodoo and all that stuff. So we were Wait, I'm gonna stop you there. For that, you gotta for that. tell us, tell, what does that mean? Because when I put this together, what is a jumbi and a jumbi is a ghost. Okay. But I mean, usually they're bad guys that haunt you and do things to you, scare the life, scare the skin off your back. My used to talk about Obia. And that's another form of it. And she, she, she used to talk about that bad, bad, bad. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I didn't know nothing about it. I've heard us talk about it. Yeah. Well, you know, of course. That's the African yes. ancestry that this comes from because in Africa, voodoos and, uh, and all that whole concept of that power to control someone 
through some mystical form or whatever, yes. that goes way back to an African ancestry. Absolutely. And it's not only unique to the islands. You go to uh, New Orleans, it's very big there. No, no. Anywhere in South America, oh, anywhere yeah. where there are black populations, exactly. you have that. Santeria. Yeah, all that anywhere, stuff. anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's been real, guys. Yeah. Thank you. It's next this step. Is this, this is start. the start. And next step, Sadler's Village. Good. Welcome to Sadler's, one of the free villages established on former state lands after emancipation. It should say home of John Phipps and Francis O'Loughlin. So I'll just add that later. Okay, bye-bye. Now, what, it, what was your parents' names? My parents? Yes. Um, my mother is Stephen, but my father is Phipps. Okay, what was your father's first name? Alfred Phipps. For instance, my father died at 54. Uh, 54. His father died when he was, what, about 60? Yeah. But they were both born in about 1890-ish and around there. So we're not sure if you are part of on the same generation with us, and so your father would be a brother to our father. That's right. I, or, be, I guess yeah. some things I work it out. When I first know I'm charged, because I write in first, and then she continued writing, so I said, well, and I said, well, I said, my father, brother, because I had a next brother, but he is in Virgin Garda, and I have a picture of your father, that's George's father, and he looks something like him, and he named John Phipps is here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. That's my father, John yeah. James. There's no question that we're Yeah, oh, definitely. You look, he no looks just question like to it. Oh, like my, my father's goodness. sister. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And she also looks like my sister that died when I was small. Her Liza. Name was Pearl, oh, no, Pearlene. 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 Yeah, right. Yeah. Wow. You see the hair? I know. <laughs> they call coolie hair. Yeah, she's got pretty hair. I'm glad to see you. Oh, I'm glad to see you. Yeah. I we couldn't wait to get here. Yeah. We couldn't wait. So you have to come to America now. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> so you also have a picture of my brother Billy, my twin brother. I have Nathaniel. I want to have Billy on it. Um, two, I don't know, two of them is the Keynes, and um, I can't remember, I forgot the picture that you gave me. Do you remember my nephew Wesley came here? Wesley Keynes. No, Wesley Phipps. Oh, Wesley Phipps. Yeah, he came here up oh, on the yeah, cruise. Yeah, 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 I remember. A couple right years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago. You yeah. got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're we home. John Phipps is my father's name. Yes, well, uh, my, yes. my grandfather was John Phipps, too. They were related. Uh huh. Yeah. They are from Parsons Village. Right. That's exactly right. Yes. Oh. Do, you, do you know what my father's father's name was? No, but I knew the, the mother was Mary. They call her Mary Cooley. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly right. That's my grand. That's our grandmother. Yes, that's Mary right. Cooley. We are Mary Cooley. They, 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 she used to work a piece of mountain gum and a gut, so they called it got Mary Cooley up to now. No. Is that right? Now, uh, where is this again that's it? Where? Over Parsons. Over Parsons. Is Parsons past Sadler Village? Yes, down, down the hollow. Yes, go that way. Yes, I want to go that way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's Moo Moo Mary? No. That's the one that, yes, that's right. They, so she was... Moo Moo Mary as also. So she was Indian. East India. Or East yes, India. Yes, yes, she had good heels. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Yes, that's right. Wow. Yes, yes. She had good heels. Do you have pictures of anybody? No, no. No? No. no. Wow. I used to have a picture of my grandfather. Then my sister had it, and then she had a fire. Oh. oh lost. Yes, yes, yes. Too bad. So... Liza, Liza was your sister. sister. Yes. Yes. And then it had Eliza, it had Christiana, that your father left here. See, I, we don't know about her. 
because Christiana has one son down in persons. She have she had about fourteen children. Wow. But all all of them is abroad. They up in the, the states. They are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, where... She was up there too, you know. No, I didn't know. In, in New York. Yeah. She lied up there. Oh yeah, she. We knew Liza. Oh no, Not but, no. Christiana. Oh Chris. Chris. And it had, oh. had Mary. Mary's up there still. Mm. What? Did... Okay, okay, okay. Mary, they call that one Mary Cooley after her grandmother too. Yes, I. Am. Wait, no. Okay, I'll be quiet. No, that's why <laughs> my, my sister's name is Mary because of his mother. What? They refer to her as Mary Cooley. But <laughs> I'm interested in uh, what would be her last name? The lady that's Mary Cooley that's up in New York. Um, she, she her married title is Lewis. Lewis? Yeah. Uh, do you know where in Brooklyn, Manhattan? No, 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 no. She had a son, I understand. Used to play in a band with with his uncle, but his uncle never know that it was his nephew. And the, 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 the boy never know it was his uncle neither. Now I play, I'm a musician too. Yeah. I played, I did a recording with a Phipps. But they were from, um, they weren't from St. Kitts, though. Because we, we, we really thought we might be relatives. Arthur Phipps, his name was. His, I hope he's still alive. They don't come here, please. And uh, he had four brothers. Yeah. And two of them were also musicians. Because there are quite a few Phipps in New York right now that are musicians. So somewhere along the line, they might be with the, the same people you're Yes, the, the, this about. fifth story is from Old Road, right up to care. Right up to care. You just that the, the family they move into yeah. different villages yeah. and yeah. they spread off. Right. Yes, it's a big, big family. Oh yeah. In my family is the one. You 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 remember? Miss Lewis up on the hill, their son, why he had name? So he, he teach a girl who get the books living in the house. Oh. This is Mr. Fitz's sister. Her, she has a house up on the hill up there. Yeah. Mm. But she had one son. Well, um, Hobby, Hobby told me that Somebody one year had left a message saying that she was at his gate, but he was not home. Oh, he told me that. Yes. He heard me to, yeah, he told yeah, me. She's that. still there. But I gotta tell. I gotta call him when I go home, and we see if we can find find her address or a number or something, because we definitely want to reach out to her as well. I don't know this. This only the only son in person is it? with. Christiana son. I don't know if he would know anything mm -hmm. about her. That would be your nephew. Yes, no. yes, yes. Yeah, your Christiana nephew. Christiana was your sister. No, your nephew. My nephew. Your right. sister son. Christiana oh, okay. was that's one of your that's one I didn't know about. Right. Okay, one of them. Yes, okay. Christiana. Okay, so that's that's uh, also um, um, Liza's sister. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Liza, like, we've met. Right, yeah. but Christiana, you Christiana did. Christiana, and she's still alive, you say? Christiana? Yeah. No, no, no. No, no. she died. Her, Only her, very her. alive. And that's the one that's in New York? Yes. Yes. But now the son lives in the village over Parsons. his... Yeah. So now you have a nephew that's yes. in Parsons? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I got... Uh, his name is Alvin. And I got a sister that's in New York named Mary. Hello, oh, it's Huggins, where is this? And, um... Yes, Miss Huggins. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Are your mother aunt, do you? Yeah, 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 forget. <laughs> yeah, your mother aunt. Yeah, cat aunt. Oh, my God. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah. So now, is there any way for us to get to Parsons? We can uh, go there yeah, sure. and try to find him? Um, you got a chance now? No. Ain't uh, I got a chance? <laughs> We're gonna I, jump I, on the I'm bus. Go with you. I'm gonna go, go put down something and then go with you. Oh, that's great. Talk with Alvin. <laughs> Wonderful. I got news for you. I did not know about Christiana. my sister, Christiana or yeah. Mary. Okay. But, and I have a sister named Mary. Okay. Yeah. So my father had two Marys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a lot of you all here. <laughs>
And Mary and my sister Mary is still oh, alive. Oh, he's got. She's got a picture of your band <laughs> in there. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, man, I love the pictures. <laughs> wow. This is the whole. This song. is the. This yeah. is the one I have. And I told you that. The, yeah, I have it too. I have these. Up, and these are my nieces, nephews, and great. But look, at, this is my dad right here. That's him, right there. That's him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I keep. Hobie keep me up to date, man. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> you have a lot of pictures too. Yeah, I got He does. He. Mm -hmm. Oh, look well, at the baby I'm reaching out to you. I'm going to send uh -huh. you some more. Oh, Billy Phipps and family. Oh, this is little Bill, Aunt Barbara, and Lori. Oh, and that's my Wesley. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. I seen this wow. Oh, this is Uncle Herbie and Aunt Vivian, you know. I got that picture. Yeah. That's Omar. Oh, Omar and his baby. baby. Omar 6'3". Oh no, that's him there. Oh, the hell is Christine and she... Yeah. Oh, that's, his that's his sister. Yeah. Oh, and Barbara. These are, are my daughters. These oh, three here, daughter. them, they went up oh, to New York. And this yeah, is, this is Barbara. This was this when they was up in New York. Oh, uh, when they went to New yeah, York? Yes. Oh, really? So that they met. Cousin Nathan. Bust the move, cousin, cousin Nathan. Well, we just came from here, which is the Bastyr, Bastyr Health Center. And this is where you get health care, and also you pick up your birth certificates, death certificates, marriage certificates, all that kind of stuff. And we just were able to find my grandfather, John Phipps' birth certificate. So that was nice. We got um, some really good information. We're going to make photocopies for the uh, brothers and sisters. And now we're going to head to Bastyr to meet Laurel and she's going to take us back to Sadler's so that we can meet with Mr. Williams' wife uh, or Mrs. Williams and her son to get the um, books to kind of look through so that we can get an idea of um, the rest of the family who was here and more details. Okay, finding Phipps on St. Kitts. Bye. Okay, this is day two. This is Cousin Nathan. Wave, Cousin Nathan. Dad, wave. She gonna get you. That's exactly right.
This is a beautiful building. Now, I assume the clock is right, so it's 27 minutes to about uh, 12. So we got a little time. of the island. The green velvet monkeys, they get as big as a dog, two feet off the ground, and they live up to 35 years, up to 40 pounds. Oh, and there's more monkeys on the island than what people we got. Amen. They was brought in by the French oh. in the 1600s. Yeah. And they're very friendly. <laughs> 